Peace, along with uh, sound diplomacy, strong international cooperation, are absolutely needed if you want to meet the SDGs. Um, while there are ongoing conflicts, we cannot have progress on the SDGs overall. The first message is that rich countries generate high, significant, negative international spillovers on other countries. And these spillovers impede the ability the ability of these other countries to make progress on the SDGs. But we also see clearly that in high-income countries, unemployment rates dropped again uh, in 2021, while they continue to increase in low-income countries. Here we have a drop, but here it keeps uh, rising. So this suggests uh, that high-income countries tend to recover faster from the pandemic than low-income countries. Even if some countries perform high on the index, no country is on track to achieve all the SDGs by 2030. Richer countries, so high and also upper uh, middle-income countries, they generate large negative spillovers on the rest of the world. So that means that their own actions um, impact negatively the SDGs in other countries. And Romania does pretty well. Their country score is 77.7, so it's a bit higher than the regional average of other Eastern European and Central Asian countries. Um, we also see on the right-hand side of the writer chart by goal score that the country has relatively well balanced. We avoid having kind of, let's say, um, biases at the country level, arguing our data not directly from Romania, for example, but from by the World Bank or the FAO. But that's, I mean, even the, in the data that is reported by Romania to the to these international organizations, there can be some times room for a country level error. From the bottom up approach is key. Uh, I don't think we can have progress only if we leave uh, these questions to uh, governments. <laughs> Thank you.